Thanks, Randy. Well, fighting is certainly down in the NHL this year, but that doesn't mean the popularity is any less for the NHL's tough guys. And the Sharks have had some good ones over the years. How about Jeff Odgers? Odgers was a Shark from 1991 to 1996, but Odgers was more than a fighter. He was also the team captain. Oh, Odgie's one of my all-time favorites. I'm sure everybody said that. He was a hockey player's hockey player. Pound for pound, one of the toughest guys, definitely. Never backed down from anybody. Jeff would stick his face in any place. But they didn't have a big heavyweight like Link, who Gates, who was six foot three. I don't know what Jeff was, 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 He's a guy that when you looked at him, probably no one would have thought he would have made it in the NHL. But that was just um, heart and soul for Jeff to make it into the NHL. Uh, Wanda established himself early in his career and he fought every every guy he could and uh, all oncomers and uh, definitely well respected player. And then on top of that he was the captain of the San Jose Sharks and that is a huge feather in his cap. And he became the captain because he was he was the one guy at that time who was actually still proud to be a shark. It shows you his leadership qualities. He's more than just a guy that's going to go over the boards and uh, get in a fight for his teammates or uh, make somebody accountable for his teammates. Uh, he can lead the way, he can make a difference in a game, and he's going to play every shift. He was, he was the guy in the, in the locker room that guys turned to. You get him off the ice, and Jeff's one of the nicest guys you ever want to meet, and give you a shirt off his back. So I have a lot of, a lot of respect for Jeff. Um, on the ice, um, but even more so off the ice with the way he carries himself.